So I just dropped my daughter off at a Saturday class for staying at home alone. It's uh, it's offered at a, a local grocery store and it's geared towards, you know, kids 10, 11, 12 to get them thinking about, you know, being at home by themselves. So it goes through, you know, safety and who do you call and a little bit about cooking, a little bit about housekeeping. And as I'm dropping her off, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm about to leave and, and she, you know, she calls me back, dad, you know, give me a hug. And we do the hug and then I get out to the car and all of a sudden I have this strange little bit of time traveling thing going on and I start to think about the school year that starts in a couple of days. Um, this year, my my spouse and I were we're flipping roles a little bit. She's going to be doing drop off, and I'm going to be doing pickup. And it wasn't until that moment when I was dropping my daughter off that I realized how much I really enjoyed doing the drop off in the morning. And we have our routine, and you know we we do our affirmations and our high fives and the hugs and send them off to school. And I realized that the story of the day is now going to change when I when I'm doing the pickup I won't have a part in the startup necessarily I'll probably be even leaving for work a little bit earlier than you know like they're not gonna be down for breakfast when I'm leaving for for work now don't get me wrong this is this is nothing to do with I got I got no no problem with the switch it's ne it's necessary um, both my spouse and I are, our jobs are changing this year um, I just I started thinking about that I started thinking of the power of the the, the drop off and the pickup and the opportunity that's going to be changing for me to talk about the day from a different a different angle so you know now I'll be coming into the after the day has gone awesome or after the day has gone um, maybe not so awesome but I will say it was a it was a little bit of a tricky moment even dropping her off here because drop-offs and pickups at school is one thing you know you're sending where you're sending your kids into you're sending them into um, in my case a system I'm very familiar with because I teach as well as does my spouse we're both in education um, in this particular case the drop-off this morning was at a, a large grocery store and I guess they, they have a, a meeting space upstairs and that meeting space they do birthday parties and and uh, get-togethers and meetings and local meetings for different groups so this is where they're running it the little classroom and I just thought to myself, this is the new level of drop-off. This is the new level of um, independence that my daughter has arrived at. And, you know, as I'm pulling out of the driveway, I, I'm starting to think about how happy she was to be able to have some of this independence. And I'm not sure how happy I am. It's a funny thing. It's a very funny thing. So drop off some pickups. In this case today, I get to do the pickup too. So I'll get the stories before and the stories after. But in September, that's gonna change. I'm not sure, I'm not sure exactly how I feel about that. All right, I got some thinking to do on that one.